as a scientist, as a researcher, there's very few moments in your career when you realize that you have something really big and significant and important. And that for me came um, when I was collaborating with Yuan Chang and Patrick Moore uh, in a project that led to the discovery of a new virus. Uh, that is a virus that causes Kaposi sarcoma. So we called it Kaposi sarcoma associated herpes virus or KSHV. Kaposi sarcoma is a very important disease in that it was really a landmark of the early AIDS epidemic. The first reports actually were of young gay men with this very rare type of cancer before it was known to happen in older people, usually elderly men. Soon after, they realized that these people were also having infections, um, specifically pneumocystis pneumonia, and that they had a very severe immunodeficiency. It was um, basically a death sentence when someone had Kaposi sarcoma. That was a very bad prognosis. It means they had gone on from just being HIV infected to having actual AIDS, and uh, they would eventually die before we, we had treatments for HIV itself. So one of the opportunities of having a cancer caused by a virus, that is, in theory, if we inhibit the virus, we can treat the cancer. So at least theoretically, we can uh, use treatments that are very, very specific and totally non-toxic, like you can think of an antibiotic that, um, that kills just the bacteria, but if we can use an antiviral that can also kill a cancer, that would be a really good thing to have. 22 years ago, we started holding meetings. The meetings have been growing, and we, um, this year we have probably the largest attendance. We have about 180 people registered already. It is really exciting to uh, be organizing this meeting in New York because it, this year marks the 25th anniversary of the discovery um, of this virus. And it's also exciting because it coincides with Pride and the 50th anniversary of Stonewall. And the whole month is filled with Pride celebrations. And the actual meeting starts on the day of the Pride March. So some of us are gonna participate on that. So that's just a coincidence, but I think it's, um, very exciting because this was such an important disease for the uh, gay community uh, at the beginning of the AIDS epidemic, so it's very relevant. This meeting is co-organized by Laurie Crook at Stony Brook, so both of us are doing it, and each year there's a different organizer every year. So we don't have a society. We decided to have this meeting be organized by different people every year. There's no gatekeepers in the field, and so it's been um, we build a you know, strong sense of community in our field. If people want to learn more about our meeting or still register and participate, they can go to ksvirus.org in the web. And we also have a Twitter hashtag, which is KSHV2019. Please follow us.